Hey friends, welcome to the part 16. We are looking at real certification question. Please focus on the concepts. Hit the subscribe if you have not yet. It will help you clear cloud certifications only if you are interested. I hope you have watched part 15 which is in the members area. You can click the join button below this video or click the link mentioned in the description and become a cloud kernel or cloud ninja member. Let's jump to the questions. See you are using encryption keys and you want to know whether it is in compliance with your regulatory standards or not. Okay, you are using encryption keys. You want to know does it adhere to my industry standard or my company standards? How you can do that? First says you read the customer agreement. Most well, reading the customer agreement, how will that help you? See, you have to act, right? You cannot only read and say, Oh, I got the knowledge, man. That is great. You have to act also. So, option A, there is no action. See, whenever you think about compliance security standards, you should always think about artifact and compliance reports. So, that is the thumb rule, and this is our answer. If you see artifact, it is used for ISP security and compliance reports. You can download the compliance reports, accept the agreements. See, option C is a bit crazy because they are telling you, boss, go to the discussion forums, post a question. So, AWS will not give you such things that you ask other people. They already have sorted environment, lot of services, lot of features. The question is not talking about any configuration. So AWS config is all about configurations. It helps you assess, audit and evaluate configurations. Like I tell every time if you have EC2 instances and there are three changes to the configuration in the last one year. If you want to know what changed, who changed it, you can use AWS config. It, it, it can be used for audit purposes. People can go and see, hey, what happened, who changed? the configuration when why so this is my final answer let's lock it move forward so let us look at this new question see there are so many ec2 instances so you have these these now there is a reporting application which has been deployed on these fleet of ec2 instances these are fleet of ec2 instances now they are saying that the application logs from each of these instances should be centrally collected. That means this, 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 this should go to one place, the logs. What is the most efficient way? The most efficient way, I'll tell you, thumb rule time. Thumb rule time, whenever such thing happens, first thing is you install CloudWatch agent on the EC2 instances. On each of these instances, on each of these instances, on each of this instance, this instance, this instance, put CloudWatch agents, this one, CloudWatch log agents. And then you configure it to send the application logs to CloudWatch logs. This is an inbuilt service which has been provided by AWS. When AWS provides you inbuilt service, do not do not show your intelligence and do not create custom solutions. So this is correct. Option C is saying that you do a cron job on EC2 instances and synchronize the application logs to S3 bucket. See, cron job is a custom solution. CloudWatch log agent is not a custom solution. It is born for its purpose. Amitabh Bachchan is born to act. Okay. John Abraham, not an actor, is a bodybuilder. So this simple cron job is like John Abraham. He's a bodybuilder forcefully coming into films to act. Now he has learned some acting also. Obviously, if you spend 20 years in a field, you will learn that. By the way, uh, I have great appreciations for uh, all of these people like Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, etc. So this is wrong. This option is wrong. Option B is telling they will put cloud trail. See cloud trail what it does. Cloud trail will tell you the user activity. What happened, when, what, etc. Okay. It will not tell you how the application is behaving. The application is using so much of CPU. The application is using so much of memory that you want, right? Amitabh Bachchan logged in into your application. Hey, hooray. Shah Rukh Khan logged in into application. You don't want to know that. If you want to know that, then you use CloudTrail. But here you don't want to know that. So this is wrong. And then A says you write a Lambda function that logs into EC2 to pull the application log. So again, it's a custom solution. It is a custom solution. See, one thing I'll tell you, and it sounds really stupid to me. Uh, most of the options I see in order to confuse you, 
uh, they will at least plug lambda and say you know what lambda will do this lambda will do that lambda will do that to confuse you whenever you see lambda mostly in most of the questions i have seen the moment they put lambda in such scenarios it is to confuse you lambda they are trying to create custom solution lambda using lambda you can create custom solution like for example in real world aws glue is supposed to be the etl but we also use lambda to a great extent because it is dirt cheap compared to aws glue so this is my final answer we will lock this see this is a key policy okay and the inside the key policy you have these statements option a says that all principles from aws accounts to use the key no not all principles only uh, only uh, principles from account this will have so a is wrong b says only in the root user from the account will use this key no it's the principal who can use not the root because it's straight away saying no principal so where does root comes into play c says all principles from account this which is fine to use the key but only on s3 no boss all resources you see the star star means all resources s3 redshift athena quicksight ec2 instance blah 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 whatever so that's why this is wrong so we are left with a so a is my answer we only have one option left so it says only principles from account this which is perfectly fine uh, account this and that have i am policy applied that grants access to this key to use the key uh, that's fine so i am policies this is the mission and that have i am policy applied that grants access to this key to use the key so that's fine so it grants game is in is in place so it is all about key so this is my final answer by the way if you have not yet subscribed i don't know what are you waiting for please hit the subscribe button man it is for your benefit you will clear cloud certifications if you have only cleared easy 900 or aws cloud practitioner do not pat your back nobody cares about those two certifications they are just entry level certifications you will get respect i repeat you will get respect or if you have at least intermediate or advanced certifications on your cv nobody will call you for an interview if you just have easy 900 aws cloud practitioner that is the first milestone you have to achieve definitely you have to achieve that but you will not get interview calls on those basic certifications so this brings us to the end of part 16 we are dealing with real certification questions chances of same similar question coming in the certification is very high click the join button below this video or you can use the link in the description become a member gain access to more important questions remember those are not additional questions those are very important core questions see you in the next part